In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the angle between two vectors using a Casio ClassWiz calculator. And we're going to look at a simple worked example today. So we've got vector A and vector B. Vector A is simply 1, 2, 3, and vector B is 4, 5, 6. And we want to find the angle between these two vectors. And the calculator can actually do that all itself. So what you need to do is start by putting your calculator into the correct mode. So we want to put it into the vector mode. So we're going to press menu, bring up the main menu. If you press down, you get straight to vector here, which is on option five. So if we press five, you're now into the vector functions. So we need to define vector A, then define vector B, and then find the angle between them. So we want to input vector A, so we press one to bring up vector A. We need to select the dimension. You can see that these vectors are of dimension three. So we press three, then you can input it by just one equals two equals three equals. Then what you need to do is press the AC key once you've inputted the vector. And this will then bring up the word vector, showing you that you're in the right function. The next thing you need to do is input vector B. And to do that, you need to use this button here for option. So you press the option button, then you have to go back to define vector. So option one, we want to input vector B, which we've already done vector A. So we want option two. That brings us to this menu again. We need to say that it is of dimension three. Then we can input it four equals five equals six equals. And then like before, we press the AC button. We've now got vector A and vector B in the calculator's memory. So we need to recall those and use the angle function. So we need to first find the angle function. What we want to do is on this screen have angle, then in brackets, vector A, comma, vector B, close brackets, and that will actually do it for you. So we want option. If we go down, you'll find the option on three for angle. So we press three. That will bring up one bracket. So we need to recall the two vectors. So we want vector A, which is on option three. Then we need a comma. And to get a comma, you press shift, and then the close bracket has got a comma on it. Then we need to recall vector B, so you press option. Then vector B is on option four. Close the brackets, and then press equals, and you get 12.93. And that is your angle between your two vectors. If this video was helpful to you, please like and subscribe below. And finally, thank you very much for watching.